presented by T-Mobile. Hi, I'm Paul O'Brien. I'm co-founder of Floyd's 99 Barbershop. I'm Dan McNamee. I'm the president of Floyd's 99 Barbershops. We came up with the concept of Floyd's in 1999. That's where the 99 part comes with Floyd's. It's the convergence of uh, Floyd the Barber from Andy Griffith, Mayberry, and Floyd the Barber by Nirvana. My brothers, who are my partners, Bill and Rob, we owned a concession business together that we still own to this day. And a few baseball strikes in the 90s really got us thinking that we have to get into something else. We felt like we had a lot of experience in managing people or dealing with employees. That part we felt like we, that was a strength of ours. So we were able to self-fund our first shop not knowing anything about the business. And uh, we were pretty successful. When you walk into Floyd's, you'll know you're in a Floyd's. It's definitely got an upbeat uh, environment. You got the music going on in there. You got some very eclectic people in the shop as well. And uh, just an environment that feels a lot more like a bar or a restaurant than a typical hair salon or barber shop. And we don't really have a formal dress code. You know, a lot of places will ask their employees to cover up their tattoos because they don't want the client to see it here. We, we celebrate it. We encourage our stylists and barbers to take people out of their shell a little bit. We hear an awful lot back from our customers. We're really excited about the haircuts they got because, you know, the 20-year haircut ended that day in our shop. And they have kind of a new feel, new hipness. If you go check out our Instagram page, you'll see all kinds of pictures of some amazing haircuts. We do have year-round training for our staff on both cuts, shaves, colors. One of the things we're doing is actually building our own training academy, the Floyd's Academy, so that we can train our people both on sort of the staple Floyd's cut, which is the men's short hair cut, as well as some of the edgier styles. We just want to be known for the best haircuts. That's going to help separate us from all our competition is having just amazing styles and barbers who are given the best cuts in the business. The least informed male consumer today knows more about men's grooming than the most informed did 30, 40 years ago. They're not looking just to go in and have a transaction. They are looking for an experience. Every haircut that comes into our shop ends with a three to five minute massage on the back and then the straight edge neck shave. Old school new styles is kind of a slogan that we use from the very beginning of Floyd's. The uh, old school element is definitely the traditional barbershop, the services that are provided that we do here at Floyd's. New style is definitely kind of more of a uh, hipper image, but we think music is a real big part of the environment. And so what we've got now is, is with Floyd's Radio, which is an internet radio station, we have the same music playing in every one of our shops at the same time. About three years ago, my daughter, uh, Sarah, was diagnosed with type 1 diabetes. We've, as a company, and my brothers and, and Dan, have really gotten behind this cause. We feel like that we've created a lot of awareness. This year we're going to raise over $100,000. They're making a lot of strides with type 1 diabetes. I'm coming up on uh, next month will be five years in remission from testicular cancer. You know, going through that experience has really changes your perspective. And we were very aligned when I came on board as far as, you know, uh, being able to use the company or the, the business as a vehicle for change or a vehicle for, for doing good. We're also partnering with Movember, more of a national partnership. It's a great organization that's done a lot of good. You know, this business was built one haircut at a time. We are responsible to the clients to deliver great service at a, at a great value. So part of what drew me to this business was, you know, an admiration for the way the founders have set it up. They've built it for the long haul. We've grown our business from within. We're really proud of that. Paul's son, Jack, who's 10, wants my job. <laughs> so I've got a, I've okay, got a responsibility not. to shepherd this business forward so when he's ready, he can take that over. Thanks for joining us here today, and we really hope to see you at a Floyd's 99 Barbershop real soon.